I rise uh, in support of H.R. 8294 as Chairman of the Agriculture, Rural Development, Food and Drug and Related Agencies Subcommittee. I'm pleased to highlight the national priorities that are funded in our division. The impact of the Agriculture Division is far-reaching and it touches the lives of every single American. We all eat the food, rely on the medicine and the medical devices, and we have products made from fibers such as cotton that are made possible by this bill. Our fiscal year FY23 allocation is $27.2 billion, which is $2 billion over the fiscal year 22 bill. The bill provides $4.2 billion for rural development initiatives, including more than $560 million for broadband expansion to provide economic development opportunities and improved education and health care services. The bill continues important funding for the Community Facilities Program that supports everything from libraries and fire stations to child care centers and nursing homes. Our bill fully funds the SNAP, WIC, and Child Nutrition Programs, and it continues enhanced fruit and vegetable benefits for women and children, and it provides additional protections for SNAP recipients. We have record high funding for the Food for Peace Program, $1.8 billion, $265 million for the McGovern Dole Program, critically needed in light of the global food crisis that has worsened following the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The bill provides $3.8 billion for agricultural research, which helps the United States produce the most abundant and affordable food in the world, and provides $3.1 billion in farm and conservation programs, which includes funding to address the impacts of climate change. The Food and Drug Administration is funded at $3.6 billion in discretionary funding, and there are important increases to help combat the opioid crisis, support unannounced inspections of foreign drug manufacturing facilities, and ensure the safety of infant formula. And finally, the bill provides funding for 134 community project funding requests for members totaling over $191 million. I urge my colleagues to support this bill. I want to thank Ranking Member Dr. Harris and his staff for helping produce this bill, and I want to thank my personal staff and the subcommittee staff for their extraordinary work on the bill. And of course, I thank Chair DeLauro and Ranking Member Granger uh, as well, the majority and minority staffs uh, of the full committee. Thank you very much, and with that, I yield back the balance of my time.